Hello guys, Samantha the Introvert here. So the episode starts off with Kenji and Boss walking into a huge place. When Boss asks who the place belongs to, Kenji says some chef. Unfortunately, Kenji was the only one who is allowed to go inside. While there, Kenji started laying out his plan to the man, all while asking the man for an assistant. The man only agrees with Kenji because Kenji's plan has to do with getting rid of Mr. Paipun. While Kenji is talking about his plan, Boss was outside hearing it. Or maybe he read lips because I doubt he heard anything through that glass. It was then Boss went to Theo about Kenji's plan but Guy worries for Theo and urges Theo to not go. Guy starts to express his concern on Theo going to help Mr. Paipun and also said that Theo promised he would never go back. They are each other's important person. It's like mafia version of Bodkoi. Right now, Theo can't do anything, but that doesn't mean he can't take action from a distance. Theo texts in Tool to let Tool contact Boss so Boss can tell him what's going down. Guy woke up the next day and saw that Theo was not in bed and assumed he left and go to do his mission, but it turns out Theo was home in the kitchen. But a couple of hours ago, Tool called along with Boss to tell Theo that Kenji will strike in the evening. And because of that, Theo gets lost in thoughts and burns the egg. I'm telling you, this is the calm before the storm moment. Oh my god, this man is suspenders, he's so hot. Theo dropped guard out of class and of course wall sees. Let me reason with you. From episode 1 till now, I was not liking wall. Now it's not because he's evil because he's not, but it's because of his ways. Oh my god, Theo didn't just drop Guy off, he made it sure to stay in class. Must be because he don't trust Wall to know what Wall will do. Wall was telling Guy he wants to talk to him in private, but then Theo came and told Guy he will be going to the shop to check on something. It's time, and Boss and Tool is making preparations. Boss is talking to Tool and trying to ask Tool out for a date just to calm things down, but Tool says he's not feeling up to talk to Boss about anything right now, but he will try to listen to Boss after all this thing cool off. Boss said they might die and Tool will never forgive him and he doesn't want that, but Tool says that he shouldn't be thinking that way. Guy and Wall talking about good times, then Wall said that they changed and he noticed that Guy found his place in the world and that Guy is not alone anymore. Then Wall said he will start to change and better himself as Guy's friend. On their way out, Guy spotted them and instantly knew what they were up to. Hey, one thing for sure is that Tin is fine and sexy. I will never stop saying this. Because Guy refuses to let them leave, Theo orders Boss to all guys to let them leave. It seems Kenji has started the battle. Now Guy's fighting to convince Boss to let him go to Theo by mentioning Tool's name. Oh no, Tool's down, Tool's down, sexy man down, sexy man down. Theo out here using his pew pew like a real mafia. Now we at the final part of the game. That's what I said too. Kenji bit the hand that feeds him. Hey, one thing's for sure, Mr. Paipun did put up a fight. And this is where I declare Guy stupid. Like why would you walk in a gunfight? What purpose would you serve other than causing trouble for Theo? Damn man! Mr. Paipun shoots Kenji. Kenji better stay down this time, but if I remember clearly, Kenji did say he wishes to die by Mr. Paipun's end. We then see Pai, came with police. Turns out old girl is a police. I honestly thought she was a badass lawyer. It turns out Guy was the one that called her. After all that, Mr. Paipun told Theo to go live his normal life. Remember. Theo is still not a part of the Mafia anymore. And as for the restaurant, they sold it. They finally sold the building. Because let's be honest, 
It was never going to make it because it was just a cover-up for Guy. But now that Guy knows everything, there's no reason to get to have it. Oh, ho, ho, hello. It seems we have someone interested in Wall. But somehow it's giving deja vu on how Wall did to Guy. But I do hope he really pursuing Wall. So you're telling me it's been a month and Guy and Theo owns a cafe. It doesn't scream cafe, but with a little bit of more work and a fixer-upper, it will. Whoa, Muffin, I was not expecting this look. You in normal attire. Why is the scenery and the inside of this building giving turkey slash grease? Oh my god, Theo how to your feeding his man strawberries from the cake he made. They're about to play a game and Wall shows up. I guess Pi is stuck in work. It's the fact that everyone is playing game except for poor Tool and Boss. It's great they got customers. Mm-hmm. Guy getting it tonight. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on My Dear Gangster Opa. Thank you for watching all my reviews. Bye.